been once. Uh, I think there's a bit of that, and also she's sitting in the wind, but it's also down to me, so it's like, it's just like, it's just like, I think we'll start off with um, Andrew Thaler. Good evening. I'd like to inter introduce myself to you as the independent candidate for Eden Monero. And should you choose to vote for me, I will be the Minister for Eden Monero, the whole of the Eden Monero area, all 30,000 kilometres. The problem with the Greens is that they have no concept of social justice. They come up with middle class environmental solutions that really do not work for the lower income groups. Families who are already doing it tough really cannot afford to buy organic avocados, free range eggs, tree free toilet paper and renewable energy. This is not to say that these families don't want to do the right thing by the environment, but the solution of the Greens come up that the solutions the Greens come up with just give them the choice of either being ethical or feeding their kids. The Greens need to go away and only come back when they have solutions that work for struggling families. Another example of social injustice supported by the Greens is the new rural landscape zone provisions in the draft colouring local environment plan. I am all for preserving rural landscapes, but again the middle class do-gooders who propose such provisions give little thought to what the restrictions mean to farmers who are trying to make a living out on these landscapes. A socially just approach would require that the creation of any such restrictions be accompanied by a levy on those who want to enjoy the landscapes that is passed on to farmers to compensate them for lost productivity. This is simply the user pays principle that the Greens seem so happy to promote, provided it is not their middle class cronies who have to do the pain. I also hear the similar thing is now being proposed more locally at Wamboy, in which farmers will need the permission of their rural residential neighbours in order to cull kangaroos. Most farmers would prefer not to have to cull kangaroos, they do not do it for sport. Again, this type of restriction only makes social justice sense if those neighbours are also willing to chip in for the, need, for the feed needed to replace lost pasture. Otherwise, it is just middle class do-gooders trying to feel good at the expense of others. Class warfare is not a sustainable solution to anything.